another PSS battle here. This is my third time narrating it. First time was bad. Second time the microphone was off. <sighs> Woof. All right. Uh, it's against Rajesh. Pretty groovy. I dug it. I hope you dig it too. Let's usually say at the end of the video, I'm getting ahead of myself, I'm behind myself, I'm a little behind myself, but it's great. I know that u turns going to deal more damage to me than it does to him. That's fine. I don't want to break any sashes, you know, whatever. Krugold's HP isn't, like, that important, even though I guess she does take a whole lot of recoil for everything she ever does. Uh, Dragonate takes the energy ball very well. I'm not entirely sure the justification for the energy ball there, but it works out for me. I figure I can take any one more hit. I like to paralyze the Chandelure or whatever else, and whatever else includes Mega Mawile, so that's great. I go into attractive um, to trap said Mawile and presumably take play rough or iron head or whatever, uh, unless it's carrying the fire fang. Magnezone does a pretty solid job of dealing with, with Mega Mawile, though that play rough does do a smack and whack ton of damage given that it is resisted and whatnot. I get fully full paralysis there. He was definitely going for the sucker punch though, so since I reflected, it doesn't really matter. Uh, now I go for the discharge. Deals a little less than I expected, to be totally honest. Uh, I actually don't know exactly how bulky Mega Mawile is, but I don't know. That was, yeah, well, it's, it's respectable. I can dig it. I know Sucker Punch is coming with my s Reflect. I can take that plus two Sucker Punch and take him out. So now I'm not, like, not super high HP. I'm not outspeeding anything. But that means that Attractive is still pretty good fodder. And I imagine there are other things that might happen late game that I might want to keep my Magnezone around for. To go into Dragonite to take whatever special hit. Uh, Shadow Ball does a lot of damage, and I can't take another one. I stay in, probably gonna get knocked out, but I just wanna like get a reflect or something, or a light screen rather. V switches, so I think he thinks that I'm faster, and maybe I am. Uh, I also think now he's going to switch again out from his Heliolisk, so let's go Dragon Tail to get a little bit of damage on that Dawn Fan. Oh, a little twinkle of damage. I could barely even see it, and he probably has leftovers, so it's gonna go away anyway, that's okay. Uh, I wish I had, like, spikes or rocks or webs or other kind of spikes, because then my dragon tail would be a little bit more useful, but I have, do not have any hazards up yet. Uh, I get my rest going. I'm hoping for some shed skin. Uh, the skin's looking a little dry there. Didn't use any moisture either this morning. Shh, don't tell anyone. But unfortunately, I don't get the, 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 not dry skin, the shed skin. Uh, so dragon is kind of chilling kind of asleep, but I know that next turn I'm going to automatically wake up, because I'm pretty sure sleep mechanics in 6th gen are normal, sensical ones, not crazy-ass 5th gen ones. Um, bring Kugolzu to dodge the Earthquake. Now, I U-turn here. Fortunately, he Ice Shard, which means that whatever I bring in is going to take no damage, because the Dawn Fan already attacked. So I can bring in Kingpin without having to take any damage, which is pretty nice. Uh, I know I can take one Ice Shard, and I just want to fire off the, uh, the Ice Beam. I know he's Probably gonna switch, and indeed he does. He goes into his Chandelure, takes the ice beam really well, that's a critical hit, that dealt like no damage. Uh, decent damage for non stab, etc. Uh, bring in Dragonite, mostly has fodder on, so I can take one hit, maybe I do outspeed, and I do take that one hit! Oh my god, that fire blast! I took it! But it turns out he's actually faster, so that time he switched out earlier, he didn't need to do that. But it's, it's fine, now we know. Uh, in comes Truffle Upagus, I do outspeed, so it's Clearly not spec, uh, Scarf. I think he might be Specs. I'm not entirely sure. But Earthquake takes him out, so now it doesn't matter to me anymore. Uh, my Sash is totally intact. I do not fear the Surf. Also, I survived it without going down to 1 HP anyways, so I guess I didn't need to worry about it. And Earthquake can take out Heliolisk. Now, it brings the Dawn Fan. Uh, he's probably going to Ice Shard to take me out. I could, like, switch out to save this guy, but honestly, I'd rather just Ice Shard for a bit of extra damage and then let Truffle up, I guess, uh, take a break. Uh... Yeah, so he's got three guys left, but they're all weak to ice. So I think it's time for the uh, the Scarf Ice Beam Train to roll into town. I take the Ice Shard incredibly well. Uh, he does not take the Ice Beam incredibly well. He, in fact, gets knocked out by it, which is all according to my master plan. Uh, Hydreigon is decently bulky, so I don't actually think I can one-shot it. Indeed, I don't. You know, it's non-stat, etc., and Dragon Pulse will take me out. Fortunately, he is Life Orb, not Choice Scarf, which means that crew goals without speeds, I can obviously take him out from that HP. Do I go U-turn just in case he wants to switch into Staraptor? Because Staraptor has Intimidate, it'll lower my attack. But if I U-turn out, it resets back to regular attack, and I really like crew goals, which should not be at minus attack, or uh, minus one attack, sorry. Uh, now I bring an Attractive. Obviously, he's just going to close combat to take me out, but I want that because just in case the Staraptor is Scarfed, I want, I want to force him to be locked into close combat so that uh, Kugolzu can survive 
any one hit, because I assume I can take one close combat. Um, so I bring in Kugolzu, and he's not scarfed. Unless he's a, like, minimum speed brave. You never know. Uh, but then I can take out the uh, Staraptor, and of course I can take out the Hydreigon, making for a very close, very fun, very good game, I guess. I hope everyone who watched this battle dug it. I hope everyone who didn't watch this battle dug it too. I don't know how entirely they would. Uh, I don't know. I dug it. But I guess I also kind of watched it.